Kieran McGuire here with Box and Bands Ireland, and uh, I'm very happy to be here with uh, debutant Shane Me and Shane. Um, a very impressive first round stoppage. It seems to always be the the debut that's always the one that just rings in with a with a first round stoppage. Um, you knocked him down three times. Uh, the first one, it seemed like he was already in trouble. Uh, you could see from his face expression, like he really felt it. So, um, for you, was it? I've just smelled blood, and I just want to get him out now. Like. That's it, you know. I went in with a plan to box the whole fight, and that's just how it goes, you know. It just you take the shots that you see, and I seen shots and I picked them, and then that was the result in the end. So I can't complain. I would have liked to box for a bit longer, but there's always next time. Yeah. So. Every time we interview lads at Davies, they all have, always have ideas of how they want the fight to go, how many rounds they want to do. For you, what was your envision before going into the fight? Like? You know, everyone was telling me this is your debut, enjoy it, and uh, make the most of it, and like, take in every moment. But you know, once you get into the ring, you just, as you said, you just smell blood, and you just do what you got to do. So hopefully, next time I come out and I can get my uh, my real experience of take on the full rounds and. Uh, I'm sure Jay will, will get me uh, will get me out there again, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll experience a full fight. For you, coming from your background in amateur into, into pro, like what was it that made you want to turn pro? Like? Since I started amateur boxing, I've always wanted to become a pro. You know, I've always just watched pros. I've been watching boxing since I was a baby, crawling around, started walking. I've just been watching boxing, so it's what I've always wanted to do, and this is where I've always wanted to be. So um, you know, I'm just gonna stay in the gym, keep working hard. And it's more of a lifestyle. The lifestyle continues. Another day, um, I did want to soak it up a bit more and get more out of it, but as I said, all I can do is thank Jay for letting me be here, and um, there's always the next time. Carl Frampton always said, he said, amateur boxing and professional boxing are two completely different sports. And not only just kind of like in terms of how you fight, like without the vest and stuff, but you know, you've had to experience the whole thing of selling tickets and paying for your bone and all this kind of stuff. Um, has it been a shock to you at all, or like how have you, how have you kind of felt with the turnover? Yeah, I've been thinking of turnover for a while. The whole time I've been kind of getting advice from people, and I've kind of put it into my head mentally. I kind of knew what was coming up because at the start I was a bit naive, but the more and more I went through the path, I was thankful to have people that could lead me in the right places and show me what was coming. And then. Um, yeah, it is a big difference from amateur boxing, definitely. It's a complete different game. But uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to it. It's going to take me a long time to get used to it. Um, I rushed in there and I jumped in there today, but next time I like to box and I like to take my time. And um, it's just taking me a while to, to get used to the pro game, but I'm loving it and I'm very grateful to, to be here and to be able to fight here tonight. Uh, last thing I'll say to you, uh, a lot of people, when they come into this game, they have different reasons why they want to come in. So some say they want to be world champion. Some want to make money, uh, but some of them just want to challenge themselves, and some of them just want to get an Irish title um, because of the prestige of people that have won it before. For you, if you were to retire in a few years, like what, what for you would be success or failure? You know, for me, I don't think there would be a success or a failure. You know, I think I'm just doing what what I do. So either way, I'm successful because I'm just every day I'm waking up and I'm doing what I love. It's not easy. I'm not saying that it's easy. It's very difficult. Every amateur and professional boxer knows that. You have to put a lot in, and sometimes it looks like you're not going to get a lot back. But I'm just doing what I do, and every day I'm just. You have to keep believing in yourself and keep telling yourself that, you know, whether it pays off or it doesn't, you're doing what you love to do. And the more you work, you work harder, the better chance that it'll, it'll come back in your favour. So I'm very thankful that it came back in my favour tonight, and I got the victory. Yeah. Well, Sean, I really, really appreciate your time. Shane, sorry, I really, really appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing other shows in the future. Thank you. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks.